Hey guys, real quick before this video starts, I wanted to actually show you guys this image right here, Call of Duty, just as I was getting ready to render this video, like right when I was hitting the render button, they uploaded this image to Snapchat. Again, there's really nothing to talk about on this one. There's no words or anything like that. So I'm just gonna show you guys and let's go ahead and get into the actual video, what I actually wanted to talk about, my full entire video right here. Hope you guys enjoy, bye-bye. Hey guys, what is going on? My name is NoJ456, and today I have three different things that I wanted to talk to you guys about related to Black Ops 3, the next game, which obviously is not 100%, is not official. However, I've just done countless videos on why I think it is Black Ops 3 and all of the reasons and, and kind of uh, evidence that it is going to be Black Ops 3. So... Getting it started here, the first thing, the first piece of information I want to tell you guys about is the name of the character that we are hearing inside of these Snapchat stories. I'm going to play them back for you guys just so they're fresh in your mind and we can talk about them after that. But the name of this character is Dr. Stalin. Listen only to the sound of my voice. Let your thoughts drift. Let the bad memories fade. So the reason we know that this character that we heard speaking here is Dr. Stalin is that Call of Duty has actually changed their name on Snapchat to Dr. Stalin. This is kind of like his video notes, maybe his videography, his, uh, his kind of experiences, or maybe this is just some, a video someone is taking of him doing whatever he is doing. And that's actually another point that I wanted to make at the end of the video. However, first of all, I wanted to tell you guys who I think this actually is. I'm going to compare his voice to the actual real life person. The real life person is named David Attenborough and he does like BBC type stuff. He does kind of like deep sea national Ge geographic type stuff and his voice is just matching up perfectly with this kind of thing and it's kind of in a different tone it's in a different dialect but uh, i'm gonna go ahead and uh, just show you guys this clip show you what he sounds like and then show you guys the uh, the clip once again so you can match it up and hear how similar these these two clips actually are no i i i shrink from the word but but i wouldn't say that that meant necessarily that you you that let your thoughts drift let the bad memories fade. Let peace be upon you. So as you can hear there, it is not 100%. It's just basically going off of what I hear him saying, but this would not be the first time that Call of Duty has brought in a celebrity to kind of work on their game and everything like that. And I think David Attenborough, who is just very, very well known for being a uh, TV personality, being a commentator who talks over things and things like that, I think this would be a perfect, perfect choice for Call of Duty. And I think this is the actual person. So this is going to be someone you want to keep your eyes on and see what they're going to be doing in the next couple of days, maybe months, and uh, see, if the, see if they post any any sort of leaks or anything like that accidentally slip up and give us the name of the next game but i believe that is the voice actor and uh that, that has happened in the past so i wanted to keep an eye on him Anyway, the last thing that I wanted to talk about in this video is that I'm changing my theory after listening to it to a few more times and actually hearing what he is saying and uh, really taking it to heart. I believe that he is actually taking someone. I'm not really sure who. Maybe it's Mason. Maybe it's another character. Maybe it's someone we don't even know yet. I believe he is taking someone through PTSD therapy. So post-traumatic post stress disorder, which happens all the time after big wars and stuff like that. People always have PTSD. And I think this is a doctor who's trying to help maybe mason maybe someone else through ptsd and kind of helping them to recover inside of a, inside of this game and this is just kind of a little a little hint as to what's to come very very excited about this and let me know what you guys think about my theory on that let me know what you think about the voice and also let me know what you think dr stalem is doing very very excited and i cannot wait to get some zombies information as well that's probably not coming for a few more days probably a few more weeks actually but uh zombies i'm just cannot wait and if you guys are excited too make sure you leave a like on this video and also subscribe for the latest content i'll see you guys in the next one thank you guys so so much for watching i always appreciate it and i'll see you later Bye bye